You made a deal with a woman named Risha for this droid. I'm here to collect. Welcome home, you ugly little thing. I mean the droid, of course. This is no time for your juvenile jokes. We should properly introduce ourselves. I am Lady Sidonia Terran, Herald of the Gold Aurora. And I'm her brother, Lord Len Terran, Warden of the Eternal Flame. Please call me Len. If I didn't know any better, I might be impressed by your chatter. We may have overdone it with the formalities, dear sister. My brother and I are all that remains of House Turan's noble bloodline. One of Alderaan's more reprehensible pedigrees, House Bailis, slaughtered our family and seized all our holdings. You still have this old clanker, for whatever it's worth. This droid holds new hope for us, literally. Centuries ago, our ancestors hid something inside it for safekeeping. Pirates absconded with the unfashionable machine generations ago. Tracking it down has consumed our family since before we were born. What that droid contains will rebuild House Turan. But we need instructions to safely open the hidden compartment. It's rigged to explode, you see. The instructions are at our family's estate, now occupied by House Bayliss's forces. Without those instructions, we can't pay you. Are you looking to hire me? You're obviously talented at acquiring things. The instructions we need are in a data pad of Tehran family history at our estate's library. If you retrieve that data pad, we'll add a substantial bonus to your payment. And there are some additional family heirlooms we'll pay you handsomely to recover while you're there. What am I looking for, exactly? They'll be the valuable-looking things surrounded by guards. Len, it's time for your meeting with House Organa. Don't keep their counselors waiting this time. You just want this handsome stranger to yourself. Next time, dear sister, you get to beg our hosts for their table scraps. Have fun groveling. I never grovel. I flatter. Goodbye for now. Take your time here, Captain. I'll go stretch my legs. I couldn't face another dreary meeting with House Organa's counselors. Thank you for sparing me. Glad I can be of service. For someone so rough around the edges, you seem very kind. When I was a girl, I dreamed of adventuring among the stars. What's it like, living that life? Come to my ship and see. <laughs> that would generate no end of gossip. This is already quite a breach of etiquette, you know. An off-world man calling on a lady in private. People will talk. I didn't call you, Sidonia. You called me. And yet you're still here. Regardless, I've kept you from your business long enough. Please take care of yourself out there.